sure there are none of those men in black suits here? Positive. Shihiro Morimura's objective. One with great implications. Especially for those from another world, like me. If Operation Aegis succeeds, we'll never be able to leave this world. That must be it. That must be why I killed her. She seems to have a particular fondness for me. It appears she confessed her feelings to me. And I have yet to give her an answer. What was I going to do? Chihiro Morimura, 31. Sakura High School nurse. A key member of Shikishima's weapon development team. The note says... 443-685-3214. What could it mean? A password of some sort? There's an emblem on it. Maybe it's a car key? Oral NM C0204 is printed on the label. The bottle's made of plastic. There's nothing inside. As long as it's set to stun, it won't kill anybody. An outdated transceiver for communication purposes. I did see them earlier in the morning. But I haven't seen them at all this afternoon. Do you think they left? I seriously hope so. If a random stranger like me is seen on campus, will that be a problem? Oh, I don't know. Will it? <sighs> but you shouldn't worry, especially with that uniform. It may be from the future, but it's still a Sakura High uniform. So you don't have to feel like a stranger. What's Sakura High like in the future? In the future... Well... There should be a new building up and running. Should be? Yes. You'll see it for yourself someday. Uh, no fear. Is anyone just allowed to enter the nurse's office? teacher there, so it's closed right now. <sighs> Leave it to me. I'll figure something out. Oh, it's you. Yori, what's up? Hey, Usami-chan. What are you doing here? Well, he wanted to check out the school. So, I'm just showing him around. Hmm. Uh, oh, cool. Yep. Anyway, we better get going. All right. See you later. from myself. <sighs> what? Nothing. Is something wrong? Uh, no, I'm fine. Must have been my imagination. to the nurse's office. And all I had to do was lie to the teacher. Please, my classmate skinned her knee. <laughs> oh. 
What's wrong? Well, um... It, it's just the two of us in here, together. All alone. Ah. Uh. Uh. Medicine? Oral NM. These are student medical records. Nothing else really stands out here. <sighs> These drawers are locked up tight. What are you looking for? <sighs> are you looking for something, Akun? It must be really important. Let's see. There has to be a spare key for that desk. And it's probably somewhere in the teacher's lounge. Okay, I'll make up another excuse. Then I might be able to get my hands on it. The label's a bit different, but it lists the same medication. Oral NM, C0204. Just like the bottle I picked up before. Let's take a look at these student medical records. Ryoko Shinonome. Looks like she was given C0204. Morimura. She's been administering this drug to these students. Ryoko Shinonome. There are more. Shu Amiguchi. And Juro Izumi. Huh? That was quick. So, did you manage to find the key? The nurse's office is closed. Come back when... <laughs> you better start talking. Those men that are after me, are you working with them? This is what you wanted me to do. What I wanted? Hey, what is this? Sekigahara, wait! Don't shoot! You too, Megumi. What are you thinking? Megumi! I only followed you out of sheer curiosity, but... What in the world just happened with Megumi? Not a thing. And you're wandering around by yourself? Where's Iori? <sighs> What's your problem? Well, clearly I'm just a hopeless busybody. <sighs> I'm going to look for Megumi. seen her somewhere. But where? Damn it. Come on, think. That's right. She's... The lights are still on. Maybe this place isn't entirely abandoned. This terminal should be able to tell me where I am. Quite a bit of Android information here. This all looks like research data. Ah, here we go. Shikishima Tech Lab number six. Sixth level underground. So, this is a Shikishima facility. Current year is... 
2104? I've shifted 40 years into the future. An android. Is that what this place is being used for? What the hell? I keep getting these terrible headaches. Could it be from shifting? This looks bad. Another one? Should be able to tell me what this all looks current. An android. This looks bad. Over here. Unless you want to die, you should stop snooping around. The surface is covered in lethal levels of radiation right now. Go up there and you'll cough up blood until you're dead. Who are you? Well, clearly, I'm just a hopeless busybody. <laughs> I inspected the Sentinel that was transmitted underground. How much do you understand about the current situation? I don't know why, but I ended up here somehow. I have no idea what happened. Then allow me to fill you in. I'll start from the end. The Sentinel, or you, rather, are compromised. You've been infected with code DD426. You were shifted without a specific destination. Seems like whoever shifted you was in a hurry to do so. Otherwise... There's no way a sentinel would end up here. Code DD4... what is that? It's a program that's been implemented into you. Well, into the nanomachines in your body, to be specific. Its main function is to sever a portion of the nanomachine. The part that's cut is physically connected to the brain. And that region of the brain is where memories are stored. Your brain suffers damage each time a connection is severed. <sighs> you can lose your memories. Or worse, become a husk. Is that why I've been getting these headaches? I've had them ever since I got here. Why would anyone want to do something like this? Is this irreversible? Can I try deleting the code? That's not possible. Access to your nanomachines is restricted. Once a code or program is implemented, there's no way to delete it. How long... How long do I have before I become a husk? It depends on the intensity of the infection. Or how much time you spend inside the infected Sentinel. The longer you're in there, the worse it'll be. Let's assume the infection is moving slowly. To spread to your entire body, it'll take about a month. That's the best case scenario. Worst case would be within a few days. A few days? I may not be able to remove it, but there is a way to delay its effects. So sudden. I'm not entirely sure I can believe her, but I do keep getting these headaches, and I definitely don't want to become an empty husk. Fortunately, I discovered a nanomachine lab here. I found it by analyzing the underground mainframe's data. It is a facility that researches future technologies, after all. I can create a code that'll temporarily stall the effects. You can? 
First, let's make a deal. What? I need a small favor from you. It's nothing complicated. I just need you to get me out of here. Not anyone can use the shifter. Only those who possess nanomachines can use it. Are you gonna tell me who you are? <sighs> I have to ask. What's a young girl like you doing in this place by yourself? Uh, I see. The androids here are wrapped in a human-like skin. Just like you. Oh, this? Yeah. It's pretty easy to see the damage on this skin. Well, I guess the cat's out of the bag now. That's right. Okino mentioned something about this. He said some AI stole an android and escaped. Tsukasa Okino, huh? You should ask him about DD-426. No one knows more about it than he does. Is that so? So? How does my offer sound to you? I don't really have a choice. Then it's settled. I'll give you some pills for your headaches right now. Wouldn't want you to forget about our deal. moves carefully. A girl with red glasses and braids. She created NMC-0204. The same pills I take. I saw her at the school. But what business would an android have there? Besides, there was something different about her then. Did anyone see you? No. 
I trust you. Partners don't lie to each other, after all. Partners? Us? You really don't remember. You and I are working together to save everyone. Everyone? Even the one I murdered? That was a necessary action to prevent Operation Aegis. No one else has figured out the truth yet. Those who came from other sectors have been deceived. And Morimura was the one behind it. There's no coming back after total annihilation. And that was reason enough. It's why you agreed to take the job. What job? You were tasked with retrieving information. It was to be extracted from a certain data unit. But circumstances have changed. That unit may jeopardize our escape. You must destroy it. It's likely hidden somewhere at Sakura High School. And it may be accompanied by another student. Seek out Natsuno Minami in Class 1C. Is that an order? Not at all. I'm merely presenting options. The situation must be dealt with one way or another. If we don't, there's no turning back. <sighs> Natsuno Minami. All I was told about her was her name and class number. She may be in the possession of that data unit. If not, she'll know where it is. <sighs> Just an ordinary cop. Basically the nanomachine equivalent of a virus program. Except it causes brain damage. The infected will ultimately lose their memories. Or end up as husks of themselves. It's likely the cause of my memory loss. Found at the nurse's office where Chihiro Morimura worked. The label matches the one on the bottle I had. Oral NM. C0204. Ryoko Shinonome. Let's see. Attempting to delay nanomachine separation in the brain. Applying memory link enhancement. C0204 and C22. So there are two types of pills then. C0204 is the same one I have. It's been over a week since she last received a dose. I wonder how she's doing. Without the pills. Her memory must also be suffering. Shu Amiguchi. He was administered NMA8076. Looks like a different kind of nanomachine medication. Seems it was only administered once. All it says is 20% transplant rate. Juro Izumi. He's receiving two types of treatment. NMA8075 and B01. He received four doses of A8075, then switched to B01 from the fifth dose on. And there's a scribbled note here. B01 was synthesized by Tamao Kurabe. Chihiro Morimura's objective. She seems to have a particular fondness for me. It appears she confessed her feelings to me. The note says... 443-685-3214. What could it mean? A password of some sort? There's an emblem on it. Maybe it's a car key? Now that I think about it... This is the same gun that android was using. The one from the future. 
Hey, you! <laughs> what were you just holding? Show me right now. Now do what I say and empty your pockets. Is this some kind of toy gun? I'm taking you in for further questioning. Yeah. Damn it. Freeze! Looks like I managed to lose that cop. An outdated transceiver for communication purposes. It has a very limited range. A gun from the underground facility in the future. The android was using it. Natsunomi Nami. She was the one who had that data unit. All that running. And I end up back here. The medical records of three Sakura High School students. Shu Amiguchi, Juro Izumi, and Ryoko Shinonome. They've all been administered a pill called NM. Morimura's death hasn't been made public yet. Those black suits must have disposed of the body. Okay. Let's say I did kill her. At that point, they were already coming after me. Did I lure Morimura out here? It just doesn't add up. I managed to find some good clues here before, but I'm still not sure what some of them mean. This is the note Morimura had in her possession. I don't understand these rows of numbers. Are they even related? This key I had on me. It has some kind of emblem on it. Was I driving a car? Oh, the emblem appears to be a button. Mm. Well, I pressed it. No nearby car made a sound, though. Maybe it's somewhere further away. <sighs> How in the world did this motorcycle get here? Did it come when I pressed the button on the key? Voice authentication verified. A key is required to unlock this vehicle. It's voice activated too? Is this... a self-driving motorcycle? Hey. A key is required to unlock this vehicle. Vehicle unlocked. You may issue commands using your voice. Please set your next destination. Hey, who do you belong to? Registered drivers of the Shikishima SXRNR. A. Sekigahara and Chihiro Morimura. Me and Morimura? It looks like I've used this motorcycle before. Then it must know where I've taken it. I'm guessing you have a travel log, right? Can you pull it up? Displaying travel log. <sighs> oh. Looks like I've taken this thing all around the city. But there are only two places I've visited multiple times. Aside from Sakura High, it's just this one other spot. Set this location as your destination? Yes. Let's hit the road. Hey, did I leave anything with you? 
Invalid request. Please specify. I want to know if I left behind any messages. Two logs found from A. Sekigahara. Seriously? Begin playback? Yeah. Show me. So, did you find it? My... well, your intuition was right. I'm leaving this message as a precaution. Just in case I lose my memory sooner than I expect. You've still got work to do if you want to escape this world. You must acquire the data logs from 2188. One more thing. And this takes priority over all else. You can't let Chihiro Morimura execute Operation Aegis. She holds a position as a nurse at Sakura High School. But it's all under false pretenses. Stop her at all costs. My headaches are getting worse. I'm running out of time. In any case, some interesting developments have come up. I've confirmed that Iori Fuyasaka was able to use the gate. I checked the log she left behind. The ID she used was Morimura's biometric ID. Iori Fuyasaka is Chihiro Morimura. Knowing this, do I still try to stop Operation Aegis? That's the real question. Well, the answer's obvious, isn't it? Playback complete. <sighs> Fuyusaka is Morimura? How is that possible? And what did I decide to do? Destination reached. Ending navigation. So this is the place. Now what am I gonna find here? Locked. This factory has to be what I'm here for. <laughs> well, look who we have here. Sekigahara. Here to cause some more trouble? <sighs> Something wrong? No, nothing. Uh, let me guess. You finally lost your memories, right? <sighs> how... How did you know? Just by the way you're acting. Kind of a dead giveaway. I'm surprised you even made it back here. Do you know... what I was trying to do here? That's odd. Okino. You're in my way. And you are? Hmm. <sighs> it didn't work. I suppose 32% wasn't enough. You recognize me, don't you? No. I don't. That can't be. Oh. Focus. Hey, Okino. Take a good look at my face. I know you can remember. <sighs> you recognize me, don't you? No. I don't. That can't be. Oh. Focus. Hey, Okino. Take a good look at my face. I know you can remember. Wait! This can't be. the android gave me in the underground facility in 2104. 
They slow the effects of DD-426. A third generation model. Sentinel number 19. So this is where it was transmitted. Is this a hangar for Sentinels? Awfully persistent, aren't you? Fine. You got me. I know it's you, Okino. Even in this outfit, you managed to catch me. Have you been in hiding ever since the incident? Just laying low in Sector 5? Tell me, Sekigahara-kun. Why were you searching for me? It's basically the nanomachine equivalent of a virus program. Except it causes brain damage. The infected will ultimately lose... I need to stop the effects of DD-426. You're an expert on the subject, aren't you? I am indeed. It's a code that was distributed on the battlefield. Do you know who's responsible for spreading it? Uh, no. Right. This is exactly why I went into hiding. Because I can't trust anyone. And that includes you, a Sekigahara. You were on the battlefield too. Yet you're not showing any symptoms. I could say the same about you. I'm taking pills to help reduce the symptoms. Pills? What are you taking? <sighs> These. I see. These serve as additional code for priority processing. These aren't going to save me. Of course they won't. All you're doing is buying yourself some time. What about you? You're completely healthy. There must be some way to stop it, right? I'm afraid that's impossible. It was about a year ago. I discovered a code created by 426. The aptly named DD-426. I tested it on myself in an attempt to detach the decode. <sighs> which resulted in the loss of my memories. That's why I was unaffected on the battlefield. That can't be true. You don't seem like you've lost your memories at all. That's because I transferred my memories to my nanomachines. And I was able to create a simulated personality. It carries all the qualities that make up my identity. Let me get this straight. You're a program that's simulating Okino? Initially, yes. But now that I've been affixed to the brain, I've become the true Tsukasa Okino. I possess the original Okino's personality and memories. You can't even tell the difference. But you're still not the same. The Okino from before was different. Human beings are constantly evolving. Whether we retain our memories or not, we're never the same as our past selves. My goodness. Your pursuit of me caused quite the panic. Professor Doji wants to have me restrained. And now that you've caught me, maybe it's time I gave up. Oh, perfect timing. Huh? Hijiyama-kun! Over here! Help! Huh? Kiriko-san! What's going on? Th that man! Hey! Who the hell are you? How'd you get in here? Please, make him go away. Hold it, Okino! Not so fast, you bastard! You're coming with me! This is highly classified material, and you've seen too much. Damn you, Okino!
Okino. Remember now? Sukasa Okino. We met in Sector 5. Good. And you're an AI construct. Huh? Is that all? You've neglected to remember some rather important details. Let's try this again. Okino, do you really have to stand so close to him? Don't pay him any mind. He's just jealous. <laughs> yeah, right. Now concentrate, Eiseki Gahara. Try to remember why you kept coming back here. How are you feeling? My head feels like it's about to split in half. What about the pills? They aren't working. But you've taken so many of them already. They still aren't helping? We're ready to go. There's one thing I wanted to ask you. You seemed very reluctant to go through with this at first. But now you've come to rely on this plan. So what changed your mind? Nothing changed. I still think this is terrible. But there are some things I don't want to forget. Like that vile face of yours. I'll be sure to preserve that memory for you. Walk me through the steps once more. Sure. First, I'll input a memory extraction code into you. Your memories can be saved at any time. Your consciousness itself, though, can't be saved. Then, a simulated personality will... All I need is for you to save my memories. I don't want some AI taking over me. A simulated personality will think the same way you do. It'll be able to work together with your own brain. In other words, it will act as a support to your brain. The relationship is symbiotic. It'll teach your brain new ways to think and solve problems. But you will still be in charge of decision-making. I just... I hate myself. I really don't need a simulated personality. <laughs> All right. In that case, I'll simply extract your memories. After your memories are extracted, they'll be stored in your nanomachines. I'll configure it so when the decode region is detached, your memories will be backed up. We'll require an intracerebral map to save your memories, though it'll all be pointless if you end up as a husk. Your brain did have more damage than anticipated. My equipment can only do so much. I'll only be able to map roughly 30% of the region per scan. So you'll have to make multiple trips. Let's get started, shall we? Please, take a seat. I'm going to create your intracerebral map. We'll start with some word exercises. Try listing any words starting with A that come to mind. As you say each word, imagine the object in your head. A. Apple. Asphalt. Anchor.
Understood. Looks like I've lost them for now. I have to consider my next moves carefully. A girl with red glasses and braids. DD-426. Likely the root of my memory loss. But who would create such a thing? And why? Found at the nurse's office where Chihiro Morimura worked. Ryoko Shinonome. Shu Amiguchi. Juro Izumi. Chihiro Morimura's objective. She seems to have a particular fondness for me. Natsunomi Nami. All I was told about her was her name and class number. She may be in the possession of that data unit. If not, she'll know where it is. The note says... 443-685... A gun from the underground facility in the future. The android was using it. Why does this guy keep calling? Have I been following his orders this whole time? He wanted information, and he was trying to extract it from that data unit. <sighs> An old-fashioned phone. Could it be a phone number? Classes are over. I'll pay a visit to the school. Communication device. An outdated transceiver for communication purposes. Natsunomi Nami. Natsunomi Nami. She was the one who had that data unit. The medical records of three Sakura High School students. Shu Amiguchi. It's basically the nano machine equivalent. Hey, Iori. Oh, hey, Nachan. What are you up to? I'm just waiting for someone. Miwako and the others? No. Someone else? Ah, okay. Well, I'll see you later. Okay, see you. Hey, Ikun. Were you waiting for me? Mm-hmm. I was hoping you'd show up. Is everything okay? <sighs> I believe I owe you an apology. <sighs> uh, I see. Guess I'm not your... I... lost my memories. Huh? Yesterday, I only pretended to know who you were. What? But there's a reason I wasn't honest. I still don't know who my enemies are. I can trust you, right? Seriously? Of course you can. Then I'm going to need your help. I'm happy to help. But I'm not happy you lied to me. Why didn't you tell me sooner? I'm sorry. So 
You lost your memories? How did you find me? Easy. Your student ID helped me track you down. Oh, right. No memories, huh? Does that mean... he doesn't remember my confession? Is there anything you do remember? No, unfortunately. I never said anything to you about them, did I? About my memories, I mean. Nope. You tend to pop up out of nowhere when I do see you. And when you do, you never really stick around long. <sighs> Although... The last time I saw you, you had this look in your eyes. Like you really had something to say. Maybe you were planning on telling me then. Have you ever seen this note before? Hmm. I don't think so. Yori-chan! Oh, hey, Miwa-chan! Chill out, Miwa-chan. So, are things going well with you two? Oh, well, uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> so, did you get to first? Huh? Oh, you didn't go to second, did you? Already, Yuri-chan? You move fast! Are you done? Huh? Uh, sorry, I'm doing it again, aren't I? Classic Miwa-chan. Well, anyway, just keep at it. Uh, thanks. What are you holding, by the way? Oh, this? I'm trying to figure out what these numbers mean. Let's see here. Hmm. Oh, I think I know what these are for. You know what these numbers mean? Y yes I think so. Please tell me. They're for the telephone message service, I think. It just started last month. Oh, where you can leave messages over the phone? Mm-hmm. My mom uses it. Whenever she works late, she leaves me a message. Uh, why don't I get out of your hair? You got this, Yoi-chan. Wait, Miwa-chan! A message service, huh? Do you know a first year by the name of Natsunomi Nami? Nachan? Yeah, she was just here. She's the one I was talking to before you showed up. <sighs> that girl in gym clothes. She's probably gone by now. Do you know Nachan? No, not at all. Later for you, Sakasan. Oh, Karabe-kun. See you later. That's Juro Izumi. Yakushiji. <laughs> He's the one receiving nanomachine treatment. And she's the one who aimed a gun at my head. She's definitely up to something. something I need to do. <sighs> Could she be connected to the ones chasing after me? Guess there's only one way to find out. It says Kurabe on the nameplate. Do they both live here together? Table set for three. Miyura-kun? Dinner's already. 
So we meet again. It's easy when you're the one holding the gun, isn't it? But not so much when you're staring down the barrel. Now tell me, you said that I asked you to shoot me. What did you mean by that? That's just what I was told. Who ordered you to shoot me? Tell me everything you know. I... Stop! No, wait! You shouldn't startle me like that. Unless you want to die, that is. Jiro! Just who do you think you are? You can't barge into someone's house without permission. I remember you. You're the one who shot that robot at Tokisaka Shrine. This is between me and her. Stay out of this, Juro Izumi. Izumi? You've got it all wrong. I'm Juro Kurabe. Whoever you are, get out of my way. Juro! He's not dead. I only stunned him. I still want an explanation. Why don't you just ask for yourself? The brains behind the whole thing is sitting on the TV. The TV? Well, I guess we're doing this whole thing now. A cat? No way. You are not a talking cat. There must be some trick to it. The only trick here is my unrivaled genius. Cats aren't stupid, unlike humans. Especially you. You tried to ditch your sentinel. You thought you could escape the game? <laughs> game? Are you talking about the fight against the kaiju? Sure am. All you could ever think about was running away. But it looks like you came around eventually. I'm guessing you learned some new information. New information? Yeah, you know. The unshakable truth. That's why you came crawling back. And begged me to put you back in the game. I did? The gun she aimed at you is a nanomachine injector. Anyway, as promised, I'll let you back onto the battlefield. When you say all I could think of was running away, do you mean I was trying to escape from this world? Hmm. Who knows? Then what did you mean by new information? Man, you really don't remember a thing, do you? You can always ask, you know. Maybe the guy behind you knows something. Dude, just what the hell do you think you're doing? Miyura-kun. Sekigahara? Miura? Uh, did you say... Miura? Updating the data for Sentinel number 17 as well? For all third generation Sentinels, actually. Tomosan. Just know, I don't intend to report what you told me. However, I suggest you stop poking your nose where it doesn't belong. Afraid I can't do that. Now, I need a favor from you. If anything happens to me, I want you to keep my line open. Uh, fine. Hey, Miura. I saw Tamao Karabe at the Sentinel number 18 lift, too. Who is she? Is she also from the future? She's Sentinel number 18's pilot. 
But I thought only AI could operate Sentinel number 18. I noticed you didn't refer to me by number. You used my real name. Well, you did say you were a human once. So you believe me? Listen, Sekigahara, I have some matters to discuss with you. You got awfully serious. What is it? Let's talk face to face. Raise the lift so no one else can disturb us. view of your face from up here. Quite imposing. Anyway, what is it? Remember the conversation about the mainframe? That's the computer in the underground UFO, right? Right. It turns out it was created in the year 2188. That's even further in the future than Ida and the others. I'm positive that's the era they come from. I spent a lot of time analyzing the mainframe's data. That's when I found a massive report on this so-called 2188. I've only managed to decode a portion of it so far. Once I'm done, we'll find out what set this all into motion. Who knows? We might even find a way to save the world. Really? Now, on to the real issue. The data on the mainframe has been quarantined. Someone made it inaccessible. I'm positive Chihiro Morimura was the one who did it. Morimura? If I had to guess, there are some things she didn't want us to find out. I thought she came here to help save this world. It definitely seemed that way. But as it turns out, she has ulterior motives. There has to be a way for you to access it. I've tried everything. It's impossible. So there's nothing we can do? <sighs> I'm going to let you in on something. Something even Tamao-san doesn't know about. There's one more data log. The one I copied to my brain. So you created a backup. And it's stored in the memory of Sentinel number 17? That's right. But if Morimura finds it, I know she'll erase it. You think? She probably isn't the only one who wants it erased. That's why I'm asking for your help. If this Sentinel suffers extensive damage, please recover the memory block at all costs. When that time comes, I'll be counting on you. I won't let you down. By the way, what brought you here in the first place? Oh. Well, I came to update your system. It won't take long. Sekigahara. Yeah? We're friends, right? <sighs> Miura. Of course we are.
Okay. facility in the why does this guy keep calling an old-fashioned phone so the numbers were for a message service I wonder who would have left a message for me for myself was true, then Natsunomi Nami is a key figure in all this. She may get me a step closer to recovering my memories. If I can really believe what I heard, that is. I guess I'd better get my hands on that data unit and find out. I'll do some investigating of my own on Minami. I just need to find her first. Now, how should I approach this? mind having Fuyusaka tag along. She may even be able to help me find Natsunomi Nami. But I don't want to get her mixed up in all this. Wait a minute. When I met up with Fuyusaka this morning, a girl passed by and said she was going to the track room. Wasn't that Natsunomi Nami? I'll wait for school to get out tomorrow. Then I'll head over to the track room. Fuyusaka's at the front gate. She's still waiting for me. Things might heat up again. I can't drag her into this. If anything were to happen to her, I wouldn't be able to forgive myself. An outdated transceiver for... Natsunomi Nami. Natsunomi Nami. She was the one who had that data unit. It's basically the nano machine.
Fuyusaka wasn't kidding. They're crawling all over campus. Check the track room first. Can't go that way either. Excuse me, where can I find someone who's on the track team? Oh, well, we're on the track team. Do you need something? <sighs> um, we have stuff we need to do, so... If you don't need anything, we'll be leaving now. I'm looking for a student by the name of Natsuno Minami. Oh, Minami? She went for a run around the school. She hasn't come back yet. Yep, that's right. Around the school. Got it. Thanks. That's... She's the one who delivered that package to me. The one that contained the message to myself. Looks like she goes to this school too. Where'd she go? with me? <sighs> She's definitely up to something. Tsunami-nami. Bastard! Stay the hell away from Nachan! Wait, Yuki-chan! For what? This asshole just held a gun to your face! Stop this right now, you two! Fine. You seem to know who I am. Care to explain what's going on? You really forgot everything, huh? Just like Shinonome. <sighs> That's why I can't get a good read on you. Hard to tell whose side you're on right now. You two. You lured me all the way over here. What are you planning? Planning? I thought you came for him, right? Him? That's... that's what showed me the footage of myself. Wrong. That's not the same one I gave you. That unit was a different one supplied by the SIU. They're the ones who had it say all those things. SIU? It's where those guys in black are from. Uh, how do you... Just who in the world are you? I'm Yuki. Yuki Takamiya. Are you working with the SIU? Strictly speaking, no. 
Then why cooperate with them? Got no choice. They're keeping tabs on Nachan. <sighs> so those black suits wanted me to see that footage. But why? Yuki Takamiya. She delivered the data unit to me near the riverbank. She seemed to have known me before I lost my memories. The medical... So this is it. This is the data unit I was told to seek out. There's a message for you. A message? He asked me to show it to you. So, here it is. Not John. Uh. Why? Why did you temporarily erase your memories? Was it because of me? Yes. I can't let them get their hands on this information. My partnership with Ida. My dishonesty. You knew all along. Didn't you, Miura? You might not know this. But you're a terrible liar. I guess so. Why didn't you show me the data after it was analyzed? Because you took pity on me? Some things are best left unknown. I disagree. I should know about my own past. No matter how terrible I was. Can you link me to the logs through this message? Seki Gahara. Please, Miura. Show me the logs from 2188. Who's the target? The leading figure in nanotech research. Chihiro Morimura. Hmm. She's a former executive of Newman Inc. After she left the company, I allowed her to participate in Shikishima's project. The project was put on hold, but she continues working on it despite our warnings. Our company will suffer massive losses as a result. That's not the real reason. Excuse me. You pushed for the acquisition of Numenic. And that initiated a backdoor transfer of a large slush fund. What are you basing this on? Morimura's interstellar development project. It was one of 12 that were showcased for the acquisition. You used the project as a cover for the real use of your funds. But Morimura's actions threw a wrench in your plans. If an international agency were to catch wind of the situation, they'll definitely launch an investigation. And that will put you in danger of losing your position. Are you threatening me, Sekigahara? <sighs> like I'd waste my time. I'm an assassin. A professional. If I'm expected to perform my job perfectly. And I need every last detail on my target. <sighs> Sector 4. It's another colony that's still under construction. You'll find a research lab there. I'll be heading into orbit myself next month for an inspection. I want the job handled by then. And be discreet. I've just sent over security details for Sector 4. You'll also find a security personnel ID for your use. Eliminate Chihiro Morimura and put an end to the project. First, I'll have to confirm receipt of your payment. What was all that about? Morimura's that one teacher, right? You came here from the future to kill her? But more importantly... The hell were you doing with that four-eyed bastard? I'm... an assassin? Morimura... So I really did do it. No... I wasn't going after Fuyusaka next, was I? <sighs> And I've been lying to Miura. Was it about the change in command? No. That can't be right.
There you are. Keeping an eye on me with your drone? Finding you was simply a coincidence. Just like you, I'm now considered deceased. Ever since the battle in Sector 2, I've been in hiding. I wasn't too worried about you. Knowing you, I figured you'd keep yourself out of trouble. <laughs> so tell me, back on the battlefield in 2064, who used DD-426? Someone did his research. Your Sentinel was the source of the infection. So the evidence suggests that you're the one who used it. Guess that's how it looks. I'm not sure who the real culprit is. However, Chihiro Morimura enacted Operation Aegis after we lost. Isn't that why you're here? To see how things went in Sector 3? <sighs> What is Operation Aegis? Just look at this place. What the hell happened? Sector 3 was used as a trial run of sorts. It was the only terminal tested on, but it was enough to activate the self-defense system. Sector 4 will be the real deal. The 1980s. Once all the terminals are sealed by the self-defense system, then Operation Aegis will be fulfilled. If that succeeds, we'll no longer be able to loop. And we can't let that happen. Unfortunately, your city is doomed to forever be in ruins. If we're unable to loop anymore, that is. By loop, you mean going back in time, right? How is that different from shifting? Well, this world was created only 15 years ago. You come from a different world, where the year is 2064. Your world never existed prior to 2049. Never existed? But we're in 2025 right now, aren't we? This is neither the past nor the future. That's how the five sectors were designed. They were created when you arrived from another world. This all sounds like nonsense. <laughs> I've had enough of this crap. If there's really some other world, then prove it. I take it you're aware of Miura's logs. Logs? Logs of the year 2188. I made an interesting discovery after studying the data myself. I learned that the real world is in 2188. We were meant to return there eventually. However, this world is destroyed before that time can come. A tragic incident indeed. Especially if it was the result of someone's careless actions. Our enemies, the ones we call Kaiju, have one goal. To gain control over every mainframe in all sectors. Once that's accomplished, the five sectors will reset. This causes the world to be recreated. And that includes you. Morimura and I didn't exactly go back in time. We merely skipped the recreation. You're looking rather pale. Perhaps you should take your pills. Didn't you deliver those pills to Morimura? For Izumi and Shinonomi-kun? You and the others have no hope of fully recovering. However, 
There is a way for you to survive. How? I'll extract your data from before you lost your memories. Then I'll take it with me to the recreated world. That should stop the effects of DD-426. Can you really do that? So then, what do you need me for? To make sure we can loop, of course. I intend to stop Operation Aegis so we can start over again. And if I'm going to do that, I'll need your help. Still don't believe me? Not really. Well, you will, once you see the logs for yourself. I need you to find Sentinel number 17. <sighs> I know he made a copy of it. The data will be useful in the next world, so I'd like to get my hands on it. See that drone over there? Drone? This thing? Yes, but don't activate it just yet. That's no ordinary drone. It's him. Miura? It was before the Sentinels were randomly transmitted. He transferred himself into that drone and escaped. I managed to secure him in Sector 2. He doesn't entirely agree with my methods, though. As such, he's chosen not to cooperate. It would be best if you told him you saved him from me. Come again? You're going to convince him that you've saved him. Then, you'll retrieve the data from him. You're asking me to lie to him? He received command over Sentinel number 17 instead of me. I'm not exactly sure why but he's the only one who can track and activate it. For your sake, cooperate. I'll ensure that Miura comes with us. Above all, this is for you and Shinonome-kun. Well then. You can't use the gate at school due to structural damage. I've set new coordinates further ahead. Feel free to use that one. Hang on, I never- To avoid suspicion, I'll have my men continue following you. They won't be aware of our plans, however. So try not to get caught. I'm heading back to Sector 4. you're okay.